Come on, you can turn off if we win. Let's rock and roll, baby. Let's go. Z and both teams are on the opposite sides of the 50 and the jawing has begun. Bennett on a crossing route, Bennett to the 10, Bennett to the 5, and the corner touchdown! Michael Bennett ran a crossing route from right to left, they couldn't catch him. Chris Conley, the score! Boy, was he open! He just wanted that ball to get down and get in his hands, see? It does mean a lot to everybody. Um, In-state rival, what can you say? It's, we've been playing over 100 years, and uh, a lot of history to it. But, uh, you know, this is my 13th, and uh, it doesn't get any easier. Let's talk a little bit about Georgia Tech. Coach Johnson has uh, done an outstanding job there over the years. And uh, one of the things that stands out to me is they, uh, they are um, not only one of the best rushing teams in America, but they're one of the best uh, rushing defenses in America. They're both top 10, a very veteran team, and it, and it shows they're, they're playing extremely well on both sides of the ball. I don't know what to say other than <laughs> here we go again, 13th time for me. Uh, big game. It's an intense rivalry, you know, that good old-fashioned hate is definitely definitely something that you feel, um, especially as a senior, you know, it's your last chance to play against Tech, so it's definitely a big rivalry. You know, it's a little bit of the same thing every year, you know, having two weeks of it last year was was good for the, the Georgia Tech week, but at the same time it wasn't too much fun practicing against triple option two weeks in a row, so, um, but it, it definitely helped, I guess, because, you know, the more you practice that, you know, taking on cut blocks and the triple option, you know, the better it is. A little bit different of a mindset, you know, as a defense, um, just because they run the ball so much. Um, but at the same time, you know, our fundamentals and you know, playing assignment football doesn't really change. It's just kind of a, a little bit different, a little bit different assignments this week. You know, it's always tough uh, going on the road, um, no matter who you're going to play. So it'll definitely be, you know, it'll be tough. It'll be a hostile environment, you know. But at the same time, you know, our attitude hasn't changed from last year to this year. I think on defense, obviously, because that's what I watch is. Um... They're much improved. They got a new uh, new D coordinator, Coach Roof, who was at Auburn when they won a national championship. And um, you know, just some things that pop off in my head. Is they're very good rush defense. I think they're tenth in the country. Um, I think they're twentieth, twenty-first maybe in the country in points uh, defensive points with twenty-one. I think so. Statistically, they are a, a very stout defense. Um, they are, like I said earlier, they're much improved. They're physical. Um, uh, so we, we definitely have a challenge uh, running the ball and throwing the ball. Uh, we gotta we gotta stay hungry and we gotta find a game plan that we think uh, uh, fits our assets. They jump out on you when uh, when you watch them film. Um, I think with their pass rushing, um, but uh, you know watching their film, you just see um, just really night and day from last year. You see how they're uh, very physical. Um, they're playing playing together, and I think. When, you, when you're watching the film, you, you're sitting there just uh, scratching your head, wondering or thinking, you know, this is, this is going to be tough. Um, you know, those guys have pride in what they do. We have pride in what we do. And, uh, you know, it's like, like everyone says, it's just going to be a good old fashioned, um, just a good old fashioned hate game. Uh, probably just, just to play my game and not try to impress anybody. You know, that can be hard um, with you know, um, people putting so much expectations on you and social media and, and stuff like that. People are expecting such big things. Um, just to go play my game and don't play to play to impress, impress people and worry about what others think. Just, um, you know, take it one drive at a time and uh, take the good with the bad and um, just stay consistent in everything you do. A lot of these kids, you know, are, you know, you know, as tough as you'll ever find, and, and you know, and you know, just people in general. Uh, a lot of them are have a lot of situations that aren't aren't the best. Very unfortunate, but you know, they, they fight every day, and um, I think that's kind of you know an inspiring thing for us to 
to go out and play, you know, well for them. There are a lot of Georgia football fans um, and these kids and their families. But, you know, even beyond that, just the idea for them to get up every day and kind of, you know, look past, the, you know, look kind of the big picture and just look at things from just what they appreciate most. Uh, most. You know, I just met a kid, Tristan, who got a kidney transplant from his dad, and his dad's already out of the hospital and he's recovering. I think the things like that, you know, you just realize that, you know, football and other parts of life really don't mean as much as, as what you think. And I think that's, for us, that's probably the best thing that we can get out of it. But for these kids, it, it means so much more. It's kind of a boost of confidence, kind of brightens their day a little bit. This is our opportunity to visit Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. And, uh, you know, we love this opportunity every time we get to come here. And, uh, you know, we've done work with them in the past. And just getting to come here and see the kids smile and, you know, some of them see some of their favorite players that they've seen on TV uh, and get to meet them in person, is, it means the world to us. And, you know, it, I think it helps us as players just as much as it helps them. We actually got to get on the radio here. They have a radio station that is set up for the kids that all of them can listen to. And we uh, were able to get on there and, you know, do some commentary and then also play some games on there. And, you know, it's a full decked out studio from uh, Seacrest Studios. And, uh, you know, they have a really nice setup for the kids here. They do a lot of great things for them. We're just here to, uh, to check out and see some of these kids who, you know, have had some illnesses or, or at the hospital or see some of their families and really just um, show some support, you know, be here to kind of brighten up their day a little bit, sign a few posters and uh, shake a few hands and really just try to, to brighten up their day. It means a lot. It means a lot. It really just shows that um, God has really blessed us to be in a, a great position to influence and uh, we can just spend some time with them and, and it brightens up their day. That's, that's just an awesome feeling to know that just being around them and, and the fact that they love the, the Bulldog Nation so much. It, uh, it's humbling at first because, you know, I'm just a normal guy. Uh, but then also, you know, it means a lot to me to, just to be able to serve the community. And, uh, you know, I'm from not too far outside of Atlanta. And, and a lot of these kids are from, you know, areas that are close to mine. And just to be able to see some of those. And for some of them, they get to see their hometown heroes. And, uh, you know, it means a lot to be able to bring a smile to the life where there might not be that many. You, you think about the things and you put yourself in that in that position and you kind of you paint the perspective that you would have and you know, you know would I you know attack things certain ways differently but you know to see them and, and handle certain situations that not not anyone should have to go through and for them to do it with kind of you know confidence grace and strength that's I think those are you know underlying qualities that will help them you know throughout life no matter what and, you know some of these kids you know, might not you know get well right away. It might take them longer, but the, their ability to keep fighting is is a pretty you know awesome quality to have. You know, not just in, you know in sports, but in life. I think that's the coolest thing to see is you know kids eight years old. You know, expl uh, you know I don't know, just showing it a certain amount of strength that you don't see in you know, ninety percent of other people. You know, you're looked up to on, on so many different you know levels um, for so many different things. Uh, you know, whether it be you know I know guys like Aaron, obviously even more so, but just any of us, when they say, oh, it's a George football player, I think that is kind of cool in itself. We represent something bigger than ourselves. As you know, these, we, we're, we set an example for, you know, so many other kids, so many other kids look up to us. So for us to go out and, you know, do the little things right to, you know, set a good example, to be a good role model for them is, you know, means so much more than we'll ever know.